Okay guys, so today uh, I'm doing a run of Makero uh, in the Orongorongos. Uh, this is just really a chance to check out um, some poles that I'm going to be using for the... I'm entered into the TMR Tourua Mountain Race um, and to check out the GoPro to be honest, it's a new camera so I'm just checking it over, checking it you know, the quality, the footage is decent and that. Um, yeah, so the, the route to Makero starts with a, a couple of K, five or six K or so of flattish um, along the main Orongorongo track. It's pretty gravelled out and it's pretty easy to run. Uh, you do see uh, some trampers on this section, but um, you know, it's not too bad. It's pretty easy going. Um, and then there's, you get to Midbridge, which is 2.6K, something like that, about half, it's about 5K or so. 5-6k to the bottom of the Makero, so this is Midway Bridge, you'd be about 2.5k here. Uh, and then you've got another, I don't know, 2k or so uh, before the turn off to uh, Makero. Um, once you get to the bottom of Makero, it's, it's a much steeper climb there, so I would recommend, uh, I mean, poles are pretty, pretty handy there. Um, it, it's, it also gets a bit of storm damage um, and like windfall and stuff that you want to step over so having some poles can make it a little bit easier. The descent's a lot easier as well coming down um, off Makero down Clay Ridge. Um, yeah you see there's a bit of windfall here from I think that's been there a couple of years now they've just cut a notch into it makes it a bit easier. So this is the start of the climb up. Yeah, I was struggling here. I decided to pull my poles out here. I was going to just keep the poles for the descent, but I ended up pulling them out. Um, pulling them out of this section here to help with the climb. Yeah, it's a little bit more rooty and a little bit more technical. There is some trip hazards here on our routes and stuff to watch out for. But before not too long, there's a couple of K of flat and then before you know it, um, it seems like it takes forever, but you will get there eventually and you'll, you'll get to the, um, the turn off to Clay Ridge. Here we go. So down here, that last bit along the flats there always takes about twice as long as you think it's going to, even when you think it's going to take twice as long as it did last time. For some reason it always takes forever. It's not too physical because it's flat, it flattens off, but it's, it's, I always think it's like a K and it's not, it's like three times that. Okay, let's do this down. I'm going to use my poles and uh, get this done. May not may not be able to film a lot on this down section because it's quite trippy. There's a lot of roots and stuff. I don't want to be looking at a camera. See what I mean? It's very trippy. So it's looking out across by New Year Marta um, and the Wellington Harbour there in the distance actually. A little bit windy up there. Not too bad. It's still summer so it's not too cold. <laughs> Yeah, so this descent can be a little bit wet, particularly after it's been raining, which it has been, uh, or in winter it can be a little bit slippy. Um, so trail shoes, poles help a lot as well. The start of the descent is quite steep, um, but it once you get to the bottom of the clay ridge, it, it levels off and it's much more runnable. And then there's a few sections here that can be pretty pretty steep, and you have to hold on to trees in a few places. So this is just a, near near the bottom. It starts leveling off here, and it's um, runnable the rest of the way. It's actually pretty flowy this last section, you can get in a real zen state and run quite a long way without realising. It's really nice. Yeah, this is where it joins, that way you stay in the car park. Middle ridge takes you over the top and then a zigzag down to the car park, or you can go down there which takes you back to the main Orongorongo, and then you can turn right and go to the car park. So you've got three options, I'm going to take the, this one. It goes past Grace's Stream campsite. It's a nice, it's a nice route, it's nice and runnable all the way down, back to the car park. How far is that say? 1.8k, so not very far. I'm just coming down the last bit here, um, past Grace's Stream campsite that I didn't, I didn't film, but there's a little campsite there that's really nice, it's nested in the forest, it's right by a stream, it's nice. 
Yeah, I'm just coming down the last bit. It's all this last section is all downhill from where it meets the main track there. So it's it's a really nice finish. Like the last 1.8k is already runnable, and it's a nice finish to the run. Before you know it, you're back at the car park. Oh. Mm -hmm. Took me about two hours, something rather two hours twenty, I think it was. I think I say in this next clip. Twenty-one, fourteen point eight k, and uh, see you guys again. Cheers.